as a physician assistant, how, how do you handle patient calls? So our whole point for you guys was to try and, because we had an active call before and we were getting a lot of calls that were not emergent. But it has helped quite a bit with the flow system that you guys have. And then now we've added on the live agent to go ahead and uh, tape it up for us. And that has also helped. Thankfully, have gotten a lot less calls and it's filtering quite a bit of them, it seems like, which was our goal. What are the top needs you have as far as when calls come in? I mean, they call if their sugars are high or low. They call if they need refills of insulin. Perfect service, really limited, unnecessary refill requests by having that routing corrected. And so if it's an urgent issue or question, they usually can get the voicemail left and you can read that text. Yep. If it's just a routine prescription refill, it's like, can you call your pharmacy? Yeah, yeah. And the texting feature has been nice so that we can tell them this is not urgent and we don't actually have to get on the phone with them. And are you in there a lot like in the desktop app or the practitioner app using the on-call schedule? Uh, yeah, I'm in charge of doing that. And it's pretty easy. We we have uh, figured it out and it works out for us. Great. Do they ever rotate yeah. the physicians on call? We do. We rotate weeks. Okay. We have four physicians in uh, three mid levels. It, we all do clinic days and then on call once every seven weeks. Okay. And then you handle some admin responsibilities, it sounds like, too. Yeah, this did start that. <laughs> but it's worked and we're very happy with it now.